Hey there, everybody. Getting ready to play the Sunar. V, well, I don't know. V, probably V Sunar. I don't know how you say it. But anyway, going to play him for a league match and also going to be playing a Conquest cage match. So, Conquest is typically not the. Uh, 5 2 is awful. Uh, Conquest is typically not the strongest event ever, but it can be really strong, and sometimes, but it tends to be pretty middling. 5-2 uh, is not very good here. I think I'm going to open Squire Sauna. You'd really just like to open Silver Sauna or maybe Dungeon Sauna or something, but Anyway, I can gain a silver with the uh, the squire, so it's not all bad. So I think you know we got colonies, which I think will pretty easily out score the conquest. I mean, I guess you can use squires to gain some silvers, and then um, buy a bunch of conquests in a turn. It's it's not impossible. I think it'll be hard to make it better than just buying colonies though. I would have to would be my guess at least. Forge I'm not I mean normally forge and fortress are quite good, but again I'm not sure with the colonies. Uh, maybe it's possible to just rush down the provinces. That might be a pretty good source of points with forge. So that's, uh, it's certainly possible. You can get your trashing from your saunas anyway. So the forge won't be so good on that front, or so needed on that front. Um, not really sure if the baron's very good. You can get buys from squires and can just get money from platina. It's just as easy, or from training also. So, um, I think with a four three, you pretty much just go for sauna silver, sauna dungeon, and probably silver, right? Um, doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense to not open with the silver. So anyway, I'll take the sun. Here I will. If I get four again, I'll buy another sauna. Um, here I will take a dungeon. I think. I mean, forge is it's it's almost worth it to get a forge just to make just to print fortresses from from other fortresses. To be honest, um, and then you still have that uh, that uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, options of doing other things, the, f the provinces. That's what I'm trying to say and failing at. So, dream here would be to draw a dungeon, so we'll be able to buy th this last sauna for sure. And then, if we got the dungeon in play, we'd be moving right along. Um, I'd also settle for hitting another sauna. Although maybe it won't. Yeah, I would have enough to trash. So he buys nothing, which is all right. Um, <clears throat> I guess. I mean, I I feel like you could make use of a squire, but 
what do I know? So here I'm going to, I think, gain one more silver. That seems like a pretty good turn to me. I won't complain anyway. Okay, he gets a dungeon. I give my, sh my I will give myself a shot at buying a Avanto here, and I do get one. So I think pretty clearly just got to go for the Avanto. He got five. That was nice for him. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm done with silvers for now. I can gain more later, of course. Baron, yeah, I don't... I can't say I'm really feeling the Baron, but... Is there an attack on them? No attacks, so there's nothing to use the... Uh, the squire for well I could buy a son or a, an Avanto this next hand's gonna have an Avanto sauna pairing I guess I'm either trashing two cards now or I'm buying an Avanto right um I sort of like Find the Avanto, though I can imagine that that's maybe incorrect. What are we building towards? I'm going to try it. I really, it could be wrong, but I don't want to trash anything. Just because I know this next hand is going to be okay. I'm going to be a little greedy. He got a good draw there. That was fortunate. For him. I think I botched up spec chat. So, if more people show up in the spec, we'll have to tell them to not talk. Well, that didn't quite pan out. Well, we did get the other dungeon in, so that's okay. Um, this is a good turn. Good enough. So we got three of each of the Sana Avanto things. We can buy a train this turn. Um, I hope he doesn't draw. He might be a little ahead on trashing. He had a couple of really good draws though. That sucks. Oh well. So he'll be clean. 
Um, that's really unfortunate. I was hoping he'd have some turn where he didn't put it all together. I mean, I can get a Baron. Just have to keep an estate around. It might be okay. We'll see what the money situation looks like when we come to the end here. Definitely gonna buy a training. <coughs> Since that's worth like six bucks for me the next turn. <coughs> but beyond that, I don't know. He's just going for a platinum. That's yeah, fine. I'm going to keep the estates around so I can trash them. Um, I don't want to chain them. I would just assume draw everything here so I can play this first and then do this. Okay. What do I got? I got eight. $8 tops. It's looking like just a training. Um, though in that case I could have gained the I could have gained the silver first. Uh, probably it won't make a difference. Um But I, I should have probably done that a little bit differently. Um, just have to make sure we have one copper left. So now we have thirteen, fourteen dollars in deck. Or an okay spot. Can be sixteen dollars, I guess. Though without buys, so probably not. Not sure how much it's worth it to complicate things, but I do think I want to play with a forge, if nothing else, for the end game control.
I mean, he could do a train this turn. That's not so bad. He gets uh, four bucks out of it. I don't know what else you pick up. Squire. Okay. At least the turns are pretty easy to play at this point. Um, I could get a second Squire, maybe. What do I got here? I got 14, like I said. Do I want to trash the copper? There's no real reason to keep it around, is there? Um, I was thinking here I'd go for Platinum Fortress. And then the next turn maybe Platinum Forge. I'm hoping one of these turns that he doesn't draw the deck as his deck expand. I guess it didn't expand last turn. Um, anyway, I hope it happens at least one one turn, but I don't know if it will.
I guess the third dungeon's fine. Okay, so we'll draw again here. Do, 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 no problem. Still don't have the buys necessarily. Um, just to really make the log a nightmare. So I could get another squire. That seems possibly greedy. I'm not sure what it gains me. Other than the potential to use one of the squires for silver. Which is okay, I guess, but not crazy good. Not that good. It's alright. Um, how much am I overdrawing by? Not that much. Well, by like two or th two or three. I think I'll just hold off. I mean, one of these turns, one of us is going to whiff, I think. Might be me. He's got two dungeons. <coughs> if I had been especially bold, I could have gone for the second squire and then this turn I would have had quite a few more options as far as what I can do I'm pretty glad to have a forge before him Let's just hope we find at least one sauna in here. So he'll get a fort. No, he gets hunting grounds. Okay. Well, I'm still glad to be the only person with a forge. Uh, I wonder if he'll get another squire. That seems maybe overkill. I complain about the 5-2, but really with the squire, it's not all bad. Okay, so... Probably we don't want these cards. Alright, very good. I 
Now we gotta think about the uh, about the forging. There are a few things I can forge into. One of which is like I can forge the three silvers into a platinum. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I just want a fortress. might be able to top deck something nice here well that's fine okay so that's done I guess it's just double colony What did he buy? Platinum Fortress Hunting Grounds. Ooh, I hope he died right now. Okay, that should close it out for me without too much trouble. If he just straight up dudded there, I should be good to go. Do I want to? So right, if I kill a colony, he would need two colonies. And shoot, what would he need? So if I maybe I don't kill a colony here I just get another <clears throat> um. oh, I just want to play these so am I frozen okay if I get two colonies and I kill one, there'll be two colonies left. I would have 40 points. He could get to 31. He doesn't have a forge. He does have hunting ground, so that's a potential three points. Uh, he has a lot of buys, so if he could buy... I mean, even just a couple provinces catches me. So here I don't think I forge for anything like that. I just buy two. Um, I mean, I could get a province, I guess, <clears throat> but I don't need that yet. Cause he can't. He can't. He certainly can't triple colony. So. Um, think yeah and I wish I did have some other source of buy now but it's done now so um, we can top deck a fortress which is nice
I don't think he can triple colony, right? He doesn't have thirty-three dollars. <laughs> Here I'm going to see five cards at least, so I'll be pretty surprised if I don't kick off enough to end it. That was, that was my hope was that eventually he'd have a turn where he didn't chain. Of course, still quite lucky for me. Doesn't much matter what he buys. Unless I dud. I, mean, I, I don't know if you go double colony actually, because if I dud, it's likely to be with m enough money for a colony. Um, so I have to say that I think that is probably incorrect. Um. So I think you leave two colonies in there for sure, since you're hoping for a dud. And my dud is uh, very likely to include... I didn't know if I was actually dudding there yet. I didn't play the dungeon, of course. But Um, hey, bureaucrat, that's for conquest, right? Uh, this is really a odd one. You could just do Dutchy Duke. With, uh, well, I'm not even sure. I was thinking maybe you do... That you do is hard to do with. I was gonna say with a rebuild, but uh, I'd be a little worried actually about a cultist draw engine if you don't contest the cultists. Just on the back of um, them, just 
buying provinces, I guess. I'm not sure. It's not really a very good engine. The, I mean, I would think you would be able to use Overlord some here. And, uh, just as rebuilds, it would probably accelerate you a little bit. And I think if I were doing a rebuild, I would just go for the provinces and not Duchy Duke. I mean, the Dukes, you can use them as extra um, five greens. But... I don't know. Cultus also runs a pile out, which is... can be trouble. So he is signaling pretty hard that he's going to go for the engine. I, the engine will also have conquest points available to it, so it's not it's not shut out that way. But you have to get all your bias from big counterfeits. So you have to like have like four counterfeits, counterfeit a bunch of counterfeits and spoils, I guess, and then buy conquest four times or something. I forget the, I mean, the math on Conquest is not, it's like two, four, six, I mean, three. The, uh, um, okay, he didn't want a wall village. Um, because you can, yeah, 3 is already 12 points, that's not that many points, I don't know, I'm a bit of a loss to see how everything interacts here, but I'm pretty okay with rebuild, I think, it's a reasonably okay baseline. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'm going to open, I don't think palaces matters. I guess I'm going to open Silver Vassal, but you can open Overlord as well. Might be good. I kind of like having some money in the deck though. I'm going to not open with the Overlord and see how that goes. It might be wrong. But I will probably buy them if I have less than five <clears throat> later on here. I am pretty worried about the cultist engine just having enough time to score points via conquest which would be like five uh, five uh, somethings here I'll just buy a uh, rebuild I guess later on if I happen to hit six I can buy gold and it's worth three points. He's definitely doing some sort of engine. I had nice draw. Very, very nice draw. But 
I'm pretty happy to see him buy a walled village, I think. I guess he's this has gotta be a counterfeit for him. If he sees me go and rebuild. I'm going to go ahead and buy a estate. He gets a vassal. Well, I hope I find one of my rebuilds in here, I guess. I guess I hope that. Well, all right. So far, it's just uh, buying rebuilds and not playing them. Well, this will take the overgrown estate to a province. This turn here, and I'll probably just overlord. Uh, I guess I better buy another estate so I can have some targets. This can be an overlord. I mean, I'm sitting, I've got like a vassal and a copper on top here. I'll talk, or silver actually, I think. Um,. I mean, I'll toss them. Maybe not the silver. Maybe not the vassal. I don't know what I have on top here, but... Okay, as well as the vassal. Uh, but I don't want those. And I would just like to buy an overlord. So we're just going to try and play rebuild really, really quickly, I guess. So right now I have two estates. I think he's getting too many vassals. Um, but maybe not. Let's get province. Okay. I think I would have taken, I think I would take a second counterfeit. I think the, um, okay, I have two duchies right now. Are those I guess I just have one duchy left so I need to buy a I guess I don't need to buy an estate I can buy an estate if I want I look pretty lost at this point just because of the amount of alt VP that's on the board. 
if I can't end it, I probably am pretty toast. He can have some somewhat duddy turns. They're not that duddy. Okay, that was okay. I guess the question is whether I want to spend any time at all running another uh, estate through the grinder or whether I want to <clears throat> just mill provinces at this point. Because I'm gonna need really good draws, right? Because he can double province on his turn. I suppose he has enough money for that. No, no issue. He may not be able to double province twice. I kind of feel like this. The story now is just. to just totally rush down the provinces. That getting estates is just a losing proposition. And somehow I'm supposed to believe that 18 points is enough to win this. If I can end the game in like three turns or something. Uh, okay. There's no way this is going to pan out. Unless his turns start really being awful. Yeah, like not having a Necro in hand would help me immensely. There's no chance of piles. I absolutely need him to have a dud or two. If I had two of my rebuilds in hand, that would be something. If I had three of them in hand, that would really be something. But uh, anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much the uh, problem. Two rebuilds. Okay, I think these are gone. Nope. If I had been able to stack the deck, maybe I could have won this in this last couple shuffles, but... He only has four villages. It's bit. He has been pretty lucky with that aspect. Uh, he's always had a. Well, maybe he hasn't always. I haven't watched all his turns, but. Yeah, pretty much. He 
He's always started with a village and he has four of them. That's a bit obnoxious. But he can already double province now, so. I think, unless he didn't get to the spoil, I guess. Probably he still can if he counterfeits counterfeits. I mean, I, I think what he did is better than what I did. It just my I would need him to have some turn where he doesn't draw so well with the villages at the start. And, or if, like I said, if I could have totally stacked my deck, then that would have been something. But. Maybe since he didn't manage. I have to say, I'm pretty sure he could have just won there. or gotten to a winning state if he's paying attention to my deck. If he had counterfeited a counterfeit and played it on two silvers, that would have been like, I don't know, like three more dollars or something. Maybe more than like five more dollars. <clears throat> And if he'd done that, he could have bought, you know, province, province, estate, and I would never, ever, ever score enough points to catch him. <clears throat> so I think he could have closed it out by playing the counterfeits aggressively and double province, because I can't. He could have got over 18 points. I, I have zero point potential anymore. So reaching 18 or higher than 18 is just a, a secure win. Oh well. Aw, oh, boo. So now he has to have a dud. And also I would have needed to draw, now he has to have two duds. I would even need to draw a rebuild. Or two rebuilds. And he's got a village in his starting hand, of course. Alright, we can quit here. Um, let's update this thing. But yeah, I think he had a way to close it out and didn't do it on his turn. I suppose I could have waited around there and seen if he actually drew, but drew the money, I mean, but he didn't need much. I mean, I should have waited, obviously, it takes like no time and there's always a chance that they bombed, but like I said, I would have needed, I would have needed another bomb turn. Maybe, I mean, maybe it was totally silly, you know he had a... Oh, you know he had a f spoils in hand, right? He had to have a spoils in hand. Um, so, this is just a big, big engine thing. Some nice procession stuff and 
conquest is probably no good. Uh, but I guess you just do silver, silver for the opening. Unless you're lucky enough to have a 5-2, then you do like, I don't know, replace Vagrant or Treasury Vagrant probably. If I hit 6, I'll take an Artisan. If I hit uh, just 5, I'll just take a replace, I think. Prince is all and Prince is pretty underwhelming here. Two fives, I'm not sure. Artificer is not amazing. Bazaar's alright, Treasury's alright. I'm gonna take a treasury, I think. You can procession treasuries, that's pretty good. It's a really nice procession board actually, com in combination with replace. So I had a really good draw there. I probably will just take a procession already because I'm fully willing to trash any of my fives into Artisan for sure. He gets Artisan, that's really nice. Artisan is so good. have to see what we can do here it's either gonna be like a copper vagrant or a I mean maybe it could be in a okay yeah let's get an artisan um, it's a nice little shuffle to trigger Uh, I don't really know how important buy is to ever do Seaway. It doesn't look that important to me. It's okay to draw Procession here. It's n well, it's okay to draw Vagrant too because, or sorry, Artisan as well because we can top deck things. I always forget about that. Hmm. I'm just getting a Wild Hunt, which is okay, I guess. Um. Could top deck a procession, which I think I will do. Uh, I'll procession this treasury. There's another procession on top here. Okay. I'm just going to live a life of lots and lots of artisans, I guess. I should figure out how to get a forge, maybe. I guess this is the way to do it. I don't know what he was saying GG for, but maybe I should have processioned the artisan. I didn't even really think about that. I mean, I would really rather have, yeah, that would have been better. I mean, I don't mind having lots of artisans. 
but I'm pretty sure that would have been better. So, okay. Yeah, that was that was a misplay. That's okay though. Oh. I'm gonna let him work out his undue request. I'm not going to fiddle with it. I don't know what he wants. Should change his buy probably. I don't know how far back he's going. Hopefully just to his buy. <clears throat> okay. Sure, that's fine. Let me see. Got a top deck, uh, bizarre, I think. I don't really know what the story here is. I guess the treasury is the best thing. I really need to get I need to get a turn where I draw a lot of cards and trash everything. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we're in serious trouble. Okay, so this turn wasn't that big. I hope I've got a procession on top. I think I do. Fortunately, he can maybe fire off soon. Okay. Well, we're going to have... Shoot, we're going to have to look for a through pile here, but... If not, we'll want to probably replace one of the artisans into a province. That may not really be enough to stop the trouble, but... Um, so we got to start looking now for these... for the pile out. Because it's probably here probably involves processioning things. <laughs> it usually does. Um, I 
I already have the points lead, so that's not a problem. I'll be able to make one buy. Hmm. Maybe could be artificers or involve artificers, I guess is what I mean. It feels like I just have to go forward with the bazaars a little bit. So I could replace a, I could get a procession on top here. That seems pretty good, I think. Still leaves me with a point, which is all I need. Um, and then I'll probably want to artist in a procession as well. I don't know that I can make it. But it feels like I really have to go for it now. Don't ask me why it feels like that. Okay, we already have it in hand now. It was hard to believe that there couldn't have been a pileout. So, well, that's procession. That was a really nice procession board. It was a really, really nice procession board. I do think though that one turn I should have processioned the uh, the artisan set up a draw for the next turn I could have put on Bazaar and Wild Hunt and gained the forge that way. That would have been nice. Um Yeah. Conquest is not very good. <laughs> I hope we get a board at least one board where it's usable but so this has got King's Court Scheme and some other draw as well. Lots of cantrips. The challenge here would be would appear to be getting to your first King's Court. And then after that, 
I suppose just rolling along from there so I'm not really sure the best way to do that I think I'm gonna open armory silver caravans should help to get to seven and farmers markets are also a way to get a little bit above average money but it takes a while and so you don't know your opponent might be the one who plays it for three bucks first and snipes it that way silver silver is okay too here um, I certainly don't feel that great about a scheme opening I mean it's okay it's all right I mean you have to pair it with an armory right otherwise what's the point um, I mean and then I guess the point of buying a silver would be that it, it does help you hit seven maybe eventually and can let you buy the fives both the fives are good so anyway also it, you can here you can buy your scheme or whatever you want he's gonna top I guess he'll probably end up with more caravans than me overall but that's okay He can, of course, put in the silver this turn, or this shuffle, and we'll be about even with him maybe having a little advantage. I don't know. I really don't know on openings. I can see different things. In fact, I'm almost willing to get a second silver. Uh, just because hireling's also good. If I get five here, I think I like Artificer over Market. Let's buy another Caravan. Here are the two silvers paid off. Hopefully his one silver didn't pay off for him. Of course now I do need a scheme. Just so these king's courts can be for sure useful. I can get it I guess I can get two fours here top deck two fours that's pretty nice I mean one will be, one will be three but he may have got his seven here or next turn maybe he definitely didn't get a seven I'm not like, I'm not torn up about losing a caravan split. Not that caravans are bad, but I'm just not torn up about it. <laughs> so, let's top deck a scheme and top deck a caravan. And think about buying something like a farmer's market, maybe. Though it could just be another scheme. Um, probably not ready for the farmer's market yet. That's something you gain mid-turn. I'd be pretty surprised if he doesn't have seven here, but he could still not have it. 
I suppose with six you just take a higher lane. He does have lots of caravans. So if he doesn't have it this turn, he'll have it next turn. Yep, that's not bad. I hope I draw my king's court now. So we can start this uh, business. Uh, uh, gross, yuck. Um... Oh well. I hope he didn't draw his king's court. He did. That's too bad. I don't know it's, it's hard to say whether that's the right thing to do to auto king's court it. The scheme that is. It makes a big difference though with whether you bottom deck or top deck your king's court. He bought his two turns later, but he plays it a turn earlier. I guess we play it the same turn, technically. See, he's just first player. So, so like, but yeah, two turns. He bought draws. A, he also has a lot more draw, so that wasn't like. It wasn't totally a random thing. But I did bottom deck mine. Almost bottom deck it anyway. He's going for the higher lean right away. Yeah, it could be. I have a hard time believing that it's better than another King's Court right away. Personally. He obviously had the cards for it. Maybe he counted wrong. I mean, hireling's nice, but it's not nicer than a king's court. I mean, I I can't possibly believe that. Well, that's not good. Do I have power to pick between which caravan? Will it do it right? I don't 
I don't like that either. He puts his king's court away all the way. Oh, I think a king's courted caravan is way worse than a king's court that's in your deck playing cantrips. Anyway, so I shouldn't have typed that sentence because maybe it's not true. Although it's it has a really good chance of being true. Um, I would really rather king's court something that gave me money than these schemes since I have a couple... Um, so let's just play one though. Yeah, so I'm not even to the stage where, ooh, okay, good. So, okay. Now I definitely want to discard. And top deck at King's Court. Because King's Court is the best. Um, shoot. Maybe I can save the silver. Yeah, I can save the silver. So he has no king's courts in his deck. I mean, he's going to gain one this turn, I suppose, with Artificer, but still. All right, this feels a lot better, actually. I shouldn't have written all that stuff. Uh, I don't think I want a hireling either. I mean, it's okay. I think I want to mark it. I could just scheme four cards. So, King's Court, King's Court, Scheme, and Artificer. There'll be a chance for a pile out, certainly. <clears throat> I hope he kings courts another duration later on. Ideal thing there would have been if that armory had been a cantrip, then I could have played the king's court I gained, which would have been really great, but that's all right. Um, the rest of this deck is maybe not so good. There might be some caravans in there. I mean, I'm willing to... I'm willing to king a caravan for one turn, I think. But not... Not too much more than that. Sure. I, 
think if I can't end it and he still doesn't have a king's court, that's really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Okay, so uh, I really think I should be able to win this with pretty clean play. So uh, we don't want to leave open a three pile or something. Um, if I can't end it in three... I mean, it'd be pretty surprising if I couldn't end it next turn, but... Um, maybe the following turn after that. He's going to have a huge hand, so he'll start with nine more cards. So he'll be able to do some gains and plays of King's Courts next turn, certainly. Uh... No question there. Hmm. <laughs> I think I do need to do a caravan here. Uh, I've got how many? One, one through five. I still have. So I need to get another scheme um, four is not that great I guess I'm just gonna hope that we draw more actions here okay so this is my last king to action But it can top deck a king's court that I can king's court, so or that I can play on an action, so that's good. Maybe I should have played that in a different order, but. So, so far I'm kinging, or I'm scheming four things. I just want more king's courts. I mean, I just want more money. I think scheming four things is plenty. Especially since I'm drawing more. I'm drawing four cards. Okay. Um... Now I'm worried though about a pile out. That's so many cards. I don't think it's happening. Oh, seven cards. Okay. I think one of the king's courts is stuck, so... We really want... Wait, wait, wait. How does this... What order does this do it in? It shouldn't matter, I guess. Oh, that's okay. Um, I don't know what this means.
think I want the artificers low. I should I messed that up though. One of them should have been an artifice or not a scheme. Or another one should have been an artifice or not a scheme. <clears throat> He may have a pile on him. But I don't think so. Is he going for a pile out? If he's not, he's making it a lot easier for me. pretty funny if he bought a province that's just I mean I can end that no problem that's gonna be a breeze to get the schemes all I need to find is the armory buy one Kings Court this is an easy pile out Obviously, I haven't done it yet, so I maybe I'm speaking prematurely, but I don't I don't see how it could be hard. We just have to start. We can gain a king's just we just have to make sure to gain at least one king's court on the on the fly, as it were. So that's, we got five actions, so now there are three left. <clears throat> um, three left still? Okay. We just need to make sure on the fourth action that we it's an artificer and it, uh, 
is used to gain a king's court. That's the only important thing. So, should be all right here. Though to be on the safe side, we can play a scheme first. Um, Okay, now we're up to seven actions. So we've played five, or no, seven non-king's courts. we played four, so we still have three left here. Um, which we're already like really close to the end on, right? He didn't even bother to buy an estate, okay. And right now we have nine of these, so that's even easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we still have three more actions that we can scheme. There's probably better ways to do that, but I should have bought the conquest. Three to one. It's not letting me click ready. Oh. I don't know what just happened there. So, well, that's a nice tomb board. I guess you open like I don't know, chapel dungeon maybe. I don't think the cultists are very good. I think that just gives them more things to trash. Uh, I mean, they're good for draw, I suppose. Is about it. Um, capital and fortune go together really well. Peddler, of course, goes well with fortune. Um, capital is nice with peddler, I guess, just for the buy. Well, I 
suppose I'm gonna open Chapel Dungeon. I don't know which half of that is more surprising. You could open also Chapel Spice Merchant would be an even faster way of thinning, I guess. Might be good. Five is really nice. I mean, the dungeon is a way to get get your uh, get your peddler, I guess. So we had symmetric shuffles pretty much. I'm not sure how the story goes here. You want to buy a peddler this turn? Here you can buy two peddlers, I guess. Well, I can. I think that's the play. Again, he got the same turn. It would have been really cool if he had flipped his... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, that's all right to draw. This will be two peddlers again. Maybe a Capital and a peddler. So far, the shuffles have been pretty mirrored. And I suppose they'll keep being pretty mirrored. Um, I don't know if there's any real point to playing the dungeon this turn. So could be capital peddler he's not gonna triple peddler right that's not on the that's not in the cards so doing it this way doesn't increase the number of um, there doesn't decrease the number of peddlers I get definitely possible to do a huge mega turn here I'm gonna get gold encampment maybe you want gladiators
I guess you could do a Tomb Watchtower Golden deck with Beggar. That probably scores like six points a turn or something. You could probably get it up to more. Um, it's not. I will play the dungeon here. We can just draw that. It's not like. Probably just not enough points to be honest. It takes every terminal slot scores you three VP. That's a lot of points. I just don't know if it beats a thing that empties provinces in like two turns or something. Or one turn. Whatever it happens to be. So, I can get these peddlers. Do I want them? Gotta get encampments. So I guess I ended with six of the peddlers. That's not like that great. It's not even clear that it's better than a gladiator or something. Other than they were free and it didn't cost me any debt. But it could have been like an encampment or a gladiator and that might have been better. I suppose we need to decide now if we want to keep the spice merchant around or trash it. Um, this could be gladiator capital. It probably was a mistake, whatever I just did. to think that the peddlers yeah sometimes peddlers are too easy to buy just because they're free or at least for me because I didn't really think about it long enough there but I'm still, f I'm not out of it or anything. And since he didn't take by there, it's not so scary. So I think here I'll go gladiator capital. Trash the spice merchant. He's going to take on some debt here, which he's not going to like immediately be able to pay back just with the cards he buys. Or at least not quite. I don't think. Maybe. Depends on if he buys another card or not. I suppose the only worry of the beggar thing would be that they um, let the 
doesn't matter. I guess dungeon's the sure gladiator reveal, but you can't you can't really do that one. Spice merchant's the sure one for him because I trashed mine. I'm going to really work on the encampments here. He's probably got a chapel on top. That's really weird. The conquest is really weird to me. I guess it's supposed to be spice merchant food. I don't know if it's worth a buy. He bought encampment and a conquest. Okay, so he just has one capital and, and gold are the same. Hooray. Okay. Could buy a million encampments. That's never that bad. Um, the gladiators will surely be, the fortune will surely be revealed next turn. So having more money to pay for that is not bad either. Another dungeon is good too. Uh, the gladiator is pretty underwhelming. The capital is not as underwhelming. I mean, what am I going to have next turn probably? Um... Taking 12 debt right now. So I can get another capital and it doesn't hurt me. Well, 
you know, it might hurt me. He, of course, can for sure reveal fortune if he wants to, because he can do the, he can reveal spice merchant. If he wants to. If he draws it, I don't think he's guaranteed to draw it. Also silver. That was always going to be an option. I don't mind going in big debt with the fortune I can just as long as I get in play and it doubles my my capital it's no problem so my turn I will probably be taking oh dungeon encampment fortune there are any encampments left. I assume he's going to leave one. I don't need the chapel. Um, I suppose capital is still the most, still the thing for me to reveal. may not play this third capital. There may not be a reason. I have to think about what I can buy with it. I may just buy another capital. That's okay. Okay, we are getting another gold, right? So that's somewhat of an issue how big do we need to go here really is the question if I have a capital I'll have a Like a five province turn possibility. I'm not sure I'll have that much money. <laughs> it would give me what? How much? It would give me 36, 72 bucks. So maybe. How far in debt am I going to be here though? It doesn't hurt to play the capital. It's just whether I spend the money. So definitely getting an encampment. Um, it's definitely want another dungeon. <clears throat> it could be a cultist. That's not awful either. I guess the big thing is no is whether he can fire off the following turn. I don't have to get all the provinces at once. I can just get some of them at once. I can just get a couple. 
I get province now, actually, in the next turn four provinces. That's not bad. I don't know if it's sufficient, but... Um, that's No, that's not bad either. Because that's a lot of duchies. He doesn't have the gains for that. Of course, I could stall. Whatever, we'll try it. <clears throat> Hopefully, we see some of the good cards. He doesn't have a dungeon in play either, so that's fine. We're probably about even on duds, right? Well, he's got the Spice Merchant, so that can move through the silvers a little bit. Yeah, he had this buy spin. So he's only have well, he'll have three buys. Oh, he didn't he didn't make it very far. Does he have his fortune? He didn't get any additional buys and he didn't get a dungeon down so he'll be able to draw next turn but he'll only be so if I can make it through the deck and do my dream scenario which is looking uh, possible wow that was really lucky okay now it's looking likely which is even better than possible Four provinces should be totally safe, I think. He can get, well, he can get up to four buys. I'll have to do the math when we get there, I guess. Oh no, I have five buys, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Am I missing, what, what is my last card? It's not an encampment. It's not a peddler. It's not. I don't think it's an encampment. Oh, it's the province. Right. I don't think I can toss any of this stuff. Well, we know he doesn't have the fortune in hand. So he just played it. I don't know if I'll quite have all the money that I need here, but I'll have a lot.
was a nice capital game. Capital is so cool. That's one for you, Dr. Steelhammer. You love the capital mega turns. Now we just one more. He gets to go first. Haven't bought Conquest yet. See if we can make it through. It's just you—you you need your opponent to be doing something stupid, like buying provinces one at a time. Then, then you can do conquests sometimes, but it just costs so much. I mean, if you can buy four of them in a turn, it's a lot of points, but that's just a lot of money. Um, 5-2 is not any good at all. It's really bad. So, uh, no draw. I'm sure you just trash and hope you get to... Well, he had it too, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't think you want a herbalist. Maybe you want a herbalist. No, you can't want a herbalist. But I don't know what you open with here. Get a horde, and that's okay. Could re it's hard to buy inheritance though. There's no draw or like spiky money. Amulet's like a little bit spiky, but not very. Mm -hmm. I think the probably the thin deck that can remodel golds is pretty good here. So you could buy a remodel. I think I agree. But I'm going to get an urchin now. Well, the remodel missed, but that's okay. Oof. He had a really bad draw. His Here, I'll buy Nurchin. All right, here we go. This is going to be such a slow game. The shuffles are so bad. I 
I like farming villages at this point. Yeah. And most of this board is not very good. It looks like he probably collided his urchins. This remodel is going to be just garbage. I can't draw a estate with it. Well, I have a third urchin, right? What do I have left? There are two estates in that hand. So there aren't any. There's no reason to keep the remodel. It's just copper and urchin left on the deck here. I'm pretty sure. Now you just get to see how the mercenary stuff goes. Probably poorly. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the microphone. I guess the only card you don't want to draw with your mercenaries is another mercenary or the three models, which is okay. I guess it's not the not the hardest thing to avoid. Somewhere in here, you think about silvers, probably. Show on, show me mercenary. Boo, boo. Um, though the silver's getting away a little bit. You can, maybe you don't actually, maybe you just remodel a farming village whenever you have that chance. Hopefully Drew is other merc. Otherwise he's going to be pretty far ahead here. Hopefully he drew it before, that is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I didn't get a second mercenary out of here, but... That's life. Uh, and I'm probably gonna whiff on a four. Yeah. That's okay. My thinking on the silver vine is that you can just remodel a farming village, maybe. That's my thinking. It's, doesn't mean it's right. Remodel it to a hoard is what I'm referring to. Or gold, you know, probably a hoard though. Hopefully he's got two mercs in hand. Though he probably just goes ahead and trashes one. Yeah. We'll just hope here that we don't draw one of the, or the single, it's just the remodel. The one good card. Uh, we have to think if we do want a second mercenary. Probably. Just don't draw the remodel. Okay. I don't need three. I think I'm. Probably willing to wait on the silver. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna wait on the silver for now. This should be a sufficiently slow and brutal, horrible game to please everybody. Enough for the most miserable of people. Uh, not a fan of the trader. Not a little, not even a little bit. I never thought of Trader Conquest as a strategy, probably because it's not one, is my, th my guess, is the reason. Here I'll just get a farm village. Just looks really weak to me. Somehow, somehow you've got to be able to get to a six, but I suppose he'll be able to murk me here. What do we have left on the coppers? It's still quite a few. Um, yeah, sure. I'll toss the remodel if he plays a mercenary. He gets another mercenary, huh? That's a little weird to me. Well, that's okay. Or I'm fine with that. He's a farming village. It'll be kind of funny if I draw the other mercenary here. <laughs> that's okay. I could kill the remodel and rebuy it, I guess. <clears throat> it's too bad we didn't get to the Oh the estate's already gone. Okay. That's that's a fine turn for me. In my opinion, I don't like that trader. I hope he plays it. I would love to see him play the trader. Well, I can guarantee finishing the trashing this turn, I guess. If I do this, or sorry, if I do this, I'll eventually run into the copper, and then I'll be done with the trashing. I suppose. Let's just do that. The only other thing would be to keep the remodel around and see if we can just go ahead and get the horde this turn. It's not it's not a big deal to have the have a lot of farming villages. They're mainly just nice because they're cantrips that cost four. Hmm. Just 
Let's play till we draw the copper. Here it is. I guess we could remodel up to a farming village. That's probably better than better than another urchin. If nothing else, it means we have to click that stupid thing less. That's got to be worth its weight in gold. All right, so now he's got two coppers. That's it for the junk. So he might be able to clear that out this turn. Nope. Thank goodness. So he's not well if he merc attacks me he's not um he's not gonna play a remodel. I'm not gonna mercenary him this turn for sure. Maybe in a second or two. There's not going to be a great inheritance target ever. Maybe remodels? That's not impossible. Okay, so he did he did opt to attack me. Um I don't think it possibly matters. He still has that silver. So he can just buy another remodel. Yeah. Assuming he drew it, he can rebuy his remodel. If he wants it. Man, this game is oppressive. This is like, there should be a rule like, urchin game should have one smithy. Like, it would be a completely different game if there were a smithy. Workshop would suddenly be like incredible. And... All right, he buys another silver. I am okay with that. So what do I got left here? Like remodels and farming villages, that's it. I don't think I'll be able to well, I guess I'm going to draw one card into the shuffle. So it's at least possible to draw the horde. But no dice. I mean, that would have been really great. But Oh, well. Okay, so we don't get the die. We don't get the horde in hand this turn. He'll probably finish his trashing. He doesn't have a remodel now. But he can trash silver copper or copper merc I mean. And then he'll be able to I don't know, buy horde if he wants to buy horde. Oh yeah, he still has that trader. I forgot about that. That was a weird buy. Um not really sure what the proper discard here is mainly I'm gonna just play one urchin and buy a buy an estate I guess there's not much else to do I mean it's not even like good to like remodel the mercenary at this point I still want to draw I think um, I'd rather not have those in my starting hand I believe so anyway let's get started on this nonsense the attacks can't can't exactly continue. <coughs> P 
apparently I'm wrong. The attacks can continue. He's killing his soldiers. So basically, we're going to have the same deck now. I don't know what he's got in hand with this horde. Maybe an urchin. Looks looks possible. With his horde, his oh, it's a copper. It's a copper. Yeah. Well, he can buy a duchy. I mean, that's better than a the thing I bought. I guess the question is how quickly do you just start remodeling I'm gonna just do it right now I mean I don't see much reason to wait his duchy is a better remodel target than my estates are. He's gonna trash again, huh? Okay. I mean, it's probably right. I guess the only thing we really want to draw is the horde. We'd prefer not to draw the mercenary right now. The farming villages we prefer to not draw. Okay. So the Merc is good if we somehow manage to draw two estates right and otherwise is not that inspiring well we can start by tossing one urchin right and if we'd be willing to trash one urchin certainly If we, well, I don't know, this doesn't really make sense, but. Like right now, we might be willing to play the. The mercenary. Or here, maybe is a better spot. This is a funny game. Woof. Woofta. That didn't go well. Hopefully it doesn't go well for him either.
Okay. Well, he's pretty far from the remodel. Though it's mostly cantrips, I guess. So hopefully he doesn't get back to his remodel, though he can. He didn't gain a gold. He's out of golds. Well, now he has a gold. Okay. Now he has a gold again. So... Well, with some sort of miracle draw, I can win. It would have been good to know what my last card was, although that's fine. Um, I could trash here. That doesn't technically give me a shot at my miracle draw, though. This way does still. Which I always go for the miracle if I can. Uh, anyway, if I top, if I have a remodel on top here, I just win. Nope. Well, that's trouble. I was actually pretty close. Well, I didn't act, ever have enough money. Okay, so we know I've got a remodel left in there. I can province duchy, which is not. I mean, the problem is, is if he lines up remodel gold, it's just over. I mean, is that just going to be a win for him anyway? Pretty much. Like if he finds remodel and gold. If I do something here where I don't, like I would double duchy. If I double duchy, I have 26, he goes up to 30. So it's not, okay, so that's a possibility. Because that's not a... It's not guaranteed for him at that point. To take the pro that taking the province is safe, though it doesn't necessarily improve my shots. So what really does? Province duchy here loses if he lines up province and or gold. Would he discard something in an urchin? Hmm. I guess I'm going to play around a little bit and extend the game some since I have more remodels you know one thing I didn't think of I didn't think of the pile out we're low on the estates I mean, that wasn't an option for me But it is a problem, or it is a thing. Well, this turn is total garbage. Unless he buys a farming village and does nothing else. I think he must have 
remodel. It's funny if he can get an estate here, I can do a tie. <laughs> Which I would take, actually. Hmm. But it's... In my dream, he just can't do anything. Are the hordes... I still have a horde. He's, he still has a horde. My horde's gone. I have one gold, right? That's my my only thing. It's one gold in these remodels. I wasn't watching the three piles. I don't know if there was something earlier that would have been available. This, the estates were surely not so low back then. So, um. Unfortunately, I didn't have a way to get. He could mill a province here if he wanted to. I hope he drew his remodel with, you know, three green cards or two green cards. Or the mercenary, that would be nice. But he probably has it with the gold, so. No, he doesn't have it with the gold. Well, that means he's definitely not. He's definitely not winning next turn. Um. Because he just has that one remodel. He is not going to draw it again, I don't think. Um, so I think I'd trash this mercenary for an estate. I don't think I'd buy a copper, though that's a possibility too. Um, that seems crazy. I don't think he can possibly get around to his province or his remodel, but maybe with the farming villages he can. <clears throat> the most of the farming villages are dead, right? Quite a few of them. It's only five left in decks. Well, okay, there's still quite a few left then. I would have loved to urchin him there, of course, but... Um... I've got an okay shot at finding the province, or finding the remodel. His mercenary's not really scary. The horde is a little bit. He might get to the remodel, which would open up. Oof, that was a killer, killer farming village. Okay, so he, he may just have a win in hand. Depending on what he can trash. Does he still have a gold or not? I'm not really sure if he has a gold. He probably has one gold. I never remember how many golds the gold pile has. He probably has a gold still.
because he might be able to if he does have a gold he m might be able to play the mercenary and the remodel and get pro province and farming village I don't know what his hand is though so this was a miserable game um, unfortunately I still have some urchins left in here so it's not like a sh guarantee that I'll find the remodel if he has his golden hand I assume there's well he would need an estate in hand or urchin I just don't know what other money he has in hand if any I would have to see his last card, but I'd be a little surprised if there wasn't a win. But I guess there wasn't. I mean, I believe it. All it would take was it for it to be province and that then it's dead. I mean that's really easy for it to be a dud turn. I don't know why I said that like it like it would be unlikely. It's quite likely. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if we find the remodel. Well now I think it's guaranteed I find it. Because I just want to make sure there's no t fancy way to not get the tie. Alright, well, we tied. Alright, so 4.5 4. for me. And it's a good match. Conquest was useless, just completely. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.